Welcome to our demonstration of back gauge and tool editing features within the AdBend Pro software. We'll take our existing 3D model and send it over to Bending. From here, we'll simply make use of the auto tool and auto sequence. Once the tooling and sequence is complete, our Bend status window alerts us if there are issues with the back gauge. Bends 2 and 3 having issue with only one back gauge touching the flange, and Bend 6 having a position that's in low accuracy. We'll make use of the back gauge positioning feature, and we'll manually adjust for position for Bend 2 by simply identifying the gauge surface we wish to use and placing it onto the part. In doing this, it automatically will update the bend status window, letting us know this is now in a good position. We can do the same with the third bend, once again simply identifying the position of the back gauge we wish to use, and then placing it onto the part. For bend number six, we see that this position is not optimal for accuracy on the model. So what we can do is simply feed in and flip the part onto the other axis. In doing this, we can see the position is fine and no longer in low accuracy, but has caused a collision with the part. If we view the simulation, we can see where the collision occurs. As this collision is unacceptable, we'll simply close out of the back gauge positioning and enter into the tool editing window. In this window, it will allow us to move and position tooling as needed, as well as the capability to select the tool and flip it in order to avoid collisions. In doing this, we can see in our overview, this then resolves the issue with the part colliding. If I need further enhancements or edits to the tooling, this is completely doable in the software through our many edit tool windows. Once satisfied that the tool setup is correct and what we wish to use, we can illustrate the machine, the part position, as well as, if we need to, open additional parts, view their tool positioning, and if possible, merge the two setups from all models. In doing this, creating a single setup tooling for all parts. This concludes our demo for back gauge and tool editing features within your AdBend Pro software.